What's good guys, Skyvy here. Obviously you guys saw the title and in this video I'm going to be explaining to you guys the best, most efficient methods to actually be um, leveling up your Season 9 Battle Pass and also leveling up um, you know, just your overall Fortnite account. As you can see, mine's level 32 right now and I am Battle Pass tier 100. Now I am going to be telling you the most efficient methods, but before I actually do that, I do owe you guys an apology because in my last video there was actually an audio processing error. So apparently when I was editing the video, I managed to put two voices over each other. It's it's a hundred percent my fault and I do apologize for that, okay? Anybody who saw that video, I'm I'm sorry for you guys having to hear that. It was probably it's probably very annoying to your ears. Um and I do apologize greatly. But um, anybody who is absolutely okay with it and accepts my apology, I'm sorry for I'm sorry for ranting about this right now. But anyway, let me go ahead and actually go into the video so I could tell you guys exactly how to get the most XP in Fortnite Battle Royale. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna go over in this video is challenges. And I wanna say right now, if you guys wanna level up, I'm I'm personally level 32 and I haven't even played that many matches in season nine. And that's because I personally do a lot of challenges, okay? So if I go over to my challenges right here, as you see, you have daily challenges, which get you XP. So if I place top six in squads one time, just one time, that is not hard at all. Again, easy 1,000 XP right there. I definitely recommend doing your daily challenges. They're daily too, so they come every single day. And like, you guys might not think 1,000 XP is a lot, but trust me, it really does stack up. If you guys are trying to hit level 100 or whatever your goal is, trust me, it stacks up a lot. Um, definitely do the weekly challenges as well because um, as you can see if you complete any four challenges you'll get 5,000 XP. I'm level 32 and if I were to earn 5,000 XP right now that'd be a whole nother level. I would, I would literally gain over a level of XP. So I would definitely recommend do at least four of these but if not do all seven um, because I'm gonna say this week these challenges were not hard at all. The only ones that I had to go out of my way to do were visit all sky platforms and scoped weapon eliminations. Um, you know, I don't really use scoped weapons and I also don't land at the sky platforms. So yes, those were a little annoying, but you know, I managed to do them in a game or two. So it's not like, you know, I, I completely sat here for an hour or two just trying to do some challenges. But I'm telling you guys, if you do do the challenges, you will get 500 to 1,000 XP per challenge, and every four challenges you do per week, you're gonna get another 5,000 XP. And what I've heard is, it's gonna be 5,000 XP all the way up to week five, okay? Week six, you're gonna get 6,000 XP, and that's actually correct, as you can see, because week five, uh, week four, week three, week two, as you can see, they're all 5,000 XP when you complete four challenges. As soon as we go to week six, guys, it's gonna be 6,000 XP, it's gonna be 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, and eventually, obviously, 10,000 XP for just completing four challenges. That is not big at all. I'm gonna tell you guys that right now. That's not big at all. Um, that's really, I mean, that's really all there is to it, you know? Now, there, there are a couple challenges for the Utopia that are going to give you um, some XP. As you can see, I have to find the secret battle star on loading screen one. I haven't done that yet because I just haven't had the time to, I guess you could say. Um, I'm definitely going to do that today, though. I'll probably do it in the next match I play. So that is going to give you an easy 1,000 XP right there. And I know, once again, I know 1,000 XP doesn't sound like a lot, but I'm going to let you guys know, 1,000 XP is like, I'm trying to do the math right now. That's like 20, 25 kills worth of XP. Okay, kills actually don't give you a, like a ton of XP. I know a lot of people, there's actually a rumor where a lot of people say every kill is 100 XP. Okay, this is not COD. Every kill, the way it actually works is, Every kill is 20 XP, okay? It's either 20 or 30 XP, and your first kill of the match is going to be 50 XP, okay? That is actually how it works. But I'm gonna get into the whole XP thing later. I'm gonna let you guys know how that entirely works. But um, my first tip, if you guys are trying to get level 100, is definitely, definitely do your daily and weekly challenges. You are going to get so much XP from those. It's absolutely insane. And um, let me go ahead and go on to the next method I am going to uh, actually tell you guys. Okay guys, so for the second tip I actually have to tell you guys is no doubt I think this is probably the biggest tip of the entire video. 
and it is play with friends okay so if you play with friends you're going to get a huge xp boost if they have the battle pass so as you can see um i should be able to click on my guy maybe 120 percent match xp boost when playing with friends okay so that means they get an 120 percent match xp boost all right that's that's huge you know that's absolutely huge um i don't know if it stacks to be honest but what i do know is there are a lot more opportunities for you guys to get xp if you play with friends okay there's more kills there's revives there's assists okay if you guys are playing solos and you hit a guy for 70 and then somebody else hits them and they're dead you get nothing you get absolutely nothing but let's say you're in squads you hit somebody for 70 and your friend knocks him out you're still going to get assist xp for it okay now um they do have to have the battle pass for you to get the uh the bonus xp for playing with them um it's probably not going to be 120 percent because not a lot of people are tier 100 already like me but um also uh, going back to the whole challenges thing there's a lot of things that say place top six in squad so if you're just playing with friends challenges like this you could just do without even knowing you're doing you know all i have to do is place top six today and i'm sure i'm going to do that without knowing i did it um but anyway if you play with friends uh you can get things like revives and revives are actually 30 xp each but keep in mind um just a little disclaimer your friend can't keep jumping off a bridge or a mountain and you keep reviving them it will give you no xp for that but if your friend keeps dying to an enemy right you keep reviving them they die again you revive them they die again you revive them right let's just say it's like a bad friend and they keep dying or something you're going to get xp for every single time that you revive him i know that for a fact so um definitely play with friends guys and even if you have to um you could go into squads fill um that's that's also not a bad idea but um i don't entirely know if it's going to give you the whole xp boost because you're not actually in a lobby with them you're more you're just in the game with them but definitely if you play with friends you are going to get a ton more xp um the only way you would not get more xp is if like all your daily challenges were like solo or something like place top 15 solo three times uh, place top 25 and solo win a match and solo something like that you know that's the only time you want to get as much xp but beside that guys let me go on to the next tip okay guys so for my next tip what i would personally recommend is definitely go somewhere that's packed if you are very good at the game now you also have to know what your skill level is okay that is the even bigger tip okay if you guys are exceptionally good at this game and you win basically every game, I would recommend going Neil Tilted, Mega Mall, maybe even Salty Springs every single time, okay? Every every single time because you want as many kills as you can and you want to win the game. Now, let's say you're, you're decent at this game like me, but you don't really know how to build all professionally and stuff like that. Maybe you're not as accurate as other people. Um, I'd recommend not going Neo Tilted like I am right now. Um, I'd recommend maybe going uh, Pleasant Park, haunt, uh, not Haunted Hills, maybe Pleasant Park, Polar Peak, uh, Paradise, somewhere that has people but just not as much, okay? Because that's, that's always a good idea if you're okay at this game but not definitely good. Now, not to offend anybody, but if you are just god-awful at this game, trust me, I know some people who are bad. I'm not that good myself. I am not good at all, actually. Um, I would recommend going haunted hills junk um let's see frosty flights maybe uh somewhere that doesn't have really any people at all and i'd recommend literally just playing the game and picking off as many people as possible until the end of the game where um you're obviously going to try to go for the win and little disclaimer guys if you actually drop 20 kills okay and come in let's say 20th place or if you drop zero kills and come in first place, you're gonna get roughly the same amount of XP. If not, you're going to get more for actually winning the game. So most important thing is to actually win the game, okay? If you don't win the game, it's okay, but if you like don't win the game and have two kills, I, you know, I'm just saying that was pr most likely a waste of a game, okay? Now, everybody goes, like, tilted and stuff and die right away. Like, not everybody, but that always happens to some people, okay? That means I would... Is that a ghost? Uh, that means I would most likely recommend going somewhere else if you're dying right away. But if you're going there and you barely die right away, you know, you're that only happens, like, one in every 20 games. I'd recommend just keep, like, go there every single time, to be honest. 
um but besides that yeah i definitely recommend if you're not as good to just go go some places that are just have no people and just absolutely pick people off um as the game actually continues but um really quick uh just just to clarify everything you gotta win the game winning the game is actually the most important thing if you want to get xp you need to win it okay you could drop 30 kills or you could win a game okay in my opinion i think winning a game is a bit easier now all you have to do to win the game um, once again, it depends on your skill level, but um, if you if you're very good at this game, you know just Go tilted and win the game. You know what I'm saying? Just a absolutely show no mercy But if you're if you're okay, you know, I'd recommend staying out of staying out of some build fights that look uh, a little bit too crazy And if you're bad, I'd, re I'd recommend staying out of most if not all build fate build fights and um you know, maybe maybe do like the myth where you just one by one every single every single circle. Um, but anyway, guys, that's that's really it. That's really all there is to it to uh, gain the most of out of XP. And this is what I've been doing. Now, keep in mind, I would personally say if you guys want to gain the most amount of XP, okay, the first two tips are really what you should listen to. If you guys have nobody to play with and you completed all your challenges, then the one I am telling you right now you should do, okay? That's when you go into solos and stuff and you try to win the games. But beside that, I would definitely, definitely recommend complete all of your challenges. Okay, once you complete all of your challenges, what you're going to do from there is play with friends, okay? play with friends now keep in mind i am in a solo game right now if i had friends online i mean i do have friends online i'm just in a solo for the sake of the video um if i had friends on you know on standby and i could play with them right now um i would totally totally be playing with them instead of playing solos because it gets me a ton more xp and that that is probably the most most important thing is to be playing with friends now also like i said the only time if you have friends that you could play with the only time that you shouldn't is if you have solo challenges to do such as uh place top 25 in solos um place top 50 in solos you know any, anything along those lines is when um i'll give you guys the go-to that you don't actually have to uh actually play with squads um, now, once again, squads fill. That is acceptable. You will not get as much XP, but you know it'll it'll still work. I'm not gonna say that's you know it's it's better than solos. I could admit that it is definitely better than solos. Um, but beside that, guys, I would I would recommend making sure you know your skill level. And definitely, I was concentrating really hard right there to actually kill that guy. Obviously, you guys can see I don't have that good of aim because I just missed him about 45,932 times. But um. Yeah, definitely know your skill level so you could go and land at a proper spot. Um, and then, you know, obviously your guy, you guys are going to be able to get better. So let's say you're landing at Haunted Hills first because you're bad. Eventually, you're going to be able to land at those places like Fatal Fields, Salty Springs, where there's a couple people. And then obviously, um, after that, you're going to be able to do some like Mega Mall, Neo Tilted type stuff. Um, but that's really all I have for the video, guys. Those are basically the three ways I would recommend to get level 100. Um, most important being the first two I shared with you guys. I try to share you guys um, just for just for anybody who stuck to the end of the video. I just a little disclaimer. I try to share the stuff that is the most important in the beginning of the video. Okay, a lot of people do it at the end because they want people to stay till the end, and they say like stay till the end for the most important tip. I don't really do that. I say it right away in the beginning. Um, but anyway guys, that's gonna wrap up for the video. If this did help, just make sure to sub and like. That's literally all I ask. Um, once again, you you know you don't have to. It's just it's just really the only way you could support these. My, can I speak? Can I speak? <sighs> All right, it's the only way you guys could actually support me right now. And I don't ex I don't put like PayPal and stuff in my description. I don't do that stuff. Um, so the only way I'm asking you guys to support me is just like the video and subscribe. That's that's actually it. And um, yeah, beside that, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, this is Skyvy, so I'm gonna sad trabone it out for uh, for the end of the video. We got it's my favorite emo, and um, yeah, so that's that's really it, you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and um, that's all I have for you guys today. So peace.